Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you how we can create and assign a dynamic group to Microsoft 365 team uh, teams. So um, let me show you the situation now and the limitations, and then I'll show you how we can do it. So I'm in Microsoft Teams, and actually if I go and create a new group, uh, the new way I can see here is clicking the plus and create a team. I can create from scratch or based on another group. Let's just make it a private, give it a name, demo uh, five. Now we can assign uh, people. Now you can assign single people or you can assign an active directory group. Let's just look for Adele. If I added her, Alex and Adele, it will add them automatically. But what we can also do is to add a security group um, for instance a sec SP IT is something a security group but what happens is when we add it it does not keep the people in the group it separates them. You see we have 26 members by click plus then it breaks all of the group and all of the members are there um, as single users. You see there's 25 members and guests and one owner. And now if something is changed in active directory group, it doesn't affect them. So our intention is actually to pre present to you how we can use the active directory group that is affecting uh, any change, actually. Uh, it will be dynamic. Any change in Active Directory group will change the members in the team. So how do we do that? We will go now to the Microsoft 365 on the web and go look for admin. First of all, I want to show you the Active Directory group that we're talking about. It can be anything. Uh, this is just an example. This is the group. It's a security group. Let's look at the members. And we have, you see here, 32 uh, members and one owner. So what we will do is we will go to in the admin center to the identity. And our intention is actually to create a new Microsoft 365 group, which is dynamic and connected to the Active Directory group. So what we will do is first, we will go under groups, we'll choose all groups, and let's look for the security group that we're talking about. This is the group. I'll copy this object ID because we will need it for later. Let's just paste it in the notepad. And actually, we will see what to do. So, we want to create a new group. We'll click on new group. Under group type, we'll change it from security to Microsoft 365 group. Let's call the group the best team in the world. And uh, we can put a description. We'll keep the Microsoft Entra rules can be assigned to no. And the member type will actually be changed from assigned to dynamic users. We can assign our owner and we can also let's assign our owner. So I'll assign myself. And under dynamic user members, we can create a rule. We can use the properties to choose something that will make sense. For instance, if we say all of the users are in the same country or department and the operator is equal, let's say to IT, and if we add it, the rule will be added and once we save it, it will run and each time uh, something changes, then the people in the group will be uh, part. Let's delete this. Actually, um, well, 
I want actually is to use a special syntax that will say if the user is member of this Active Directory group, we will uh, apply this. So I will go and this is actually the template user dot members of any group dot object ID in group ID. Now, if you remember, I copied the group um, ID for the security group. So I put it in this uh, part. We can have multiple group IDs. So all I need to do is to copy this. I, of course, as I said, I replaced this um, object ID within one of these. Now we can paste it here. Click OK. And actually, we can also validate the rule and check if users are a part of it. Um, but we don't need to do that. And sometimes it takes time. So instead of using this rule, we just apply directly this rule syntax. Let's click Save. Let's click Create. And something has is not working. So let's try again. Go to rule to dynamic members rule validation invalid object ID. So we will need to check and go back. Let's look for the object ID. Um, let's just look what was. I think I did not copy it fully, so maybe that's the that's the cause. Okay, so let's go again, edit, and uh, it was a typo, so happens to the best people. Now it should work. Click save, click create. We'll see here an indication that the group creation partial success. Um, so some some of the users failed to to add it, but uh, that should not be a problem. So what we need to do now is to go to the admin center under groups and um, we will look for the group that we have created. Um, let's look for the, eight, the best eight group. And uh, you see it's a type which is dynamic. Let's click on it. And what we can do is actually, we can see, uh, currently you don't see the members, but uh, we can add um, and create from this Microsoft 365 group um, a team. So let's add to the team. And actually it has been created. So the best team is actually should be added now to the teams and of course as you understand we are using this dynamic uh, group so um, any change that is uh, done in the active directory group is also um, applied here so this is the team that was created if we go and manage team we see the owner uh, we should have seen the members here. Let's just uh, refresh. Sometimes it takes time. And if we don't have it, we will just create a new one and hopefully it will work. So uh, to make things short, I will create a new group and uh, we will do it fast. So. A group, we'll call it demo sync. Um, the ABC team, and uh, we'll do dynamic. We'll add the script. Edit this and run it. We'll click save. We'll click. Create. Now it's successful. We'll go to the group and look for the, the ABC team. We will click on add a team. It will be created. We should see it also 
in the teams. So let's refresh. Sometimes demos are like that, but that's life. Uh, let's refresh. We should see the ABC. Just a second, we're going up. And uh, here we are. If we uh, manage the team, we will not see this. Uh, what we can do, sometimes it takes time. Let's go to the best team. Maybe there it's working. Yes, you see, the team was created with the members. Now, if we try to remove any of the users, it does not let us because um, it's actually managed by the Active Directory group. So if a user is added or removed, then um, it will be applied from the... But if somebody tries to remove this through the team, it will not be possible. And um, so when, when will this be uh, good? So if you have a small team and um, then it doesn't really make sense to use an Active Directory group. But if you want uh, to, con if it's a big company and you don't want the site owner or the team owner to play around and you have an automatic process, then you can apply this um, dynamic Microsoft 365 room group in um, Teams. So, um, hope you learned something. You know, I'm also uh, learned it this first time and I wanted to share it with you. If you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.